Hi everyone. So today I thought I'd talk about something that's a little more serious. Um, it's about my lifelong struggles with anxiety, depression, and self-harm. I thought it was really important for me to make this because there are hundreds of young girls that come to me daily um, talking about their struggles and I see them on Tumblr just saying how they want to die and they want to kill themselves and that they hate themselves and it just, it really, really hits home because I've been there. When I was younger, pretty much ever since I could talk, I was diagnosed with chronic depression and anxiety. I was in therapy for years. Um, I, I hated myself. I. I wanted to die, really. I wrote suicide notes to my parents as soon as I learned how to write. I thought I was worthless. I thought the world would be better off without me. I thought people would be happier if I didn't exist. I began cutting myself around age 12. Uh, luckily, I don't have any visible scars on my arms anymore. I don't have anything um, that people can see and know, but I'm open about it because it was a part of my life. So, um, I quickly got help, uh, even though I was in therapy for so long. I finally um, began taking medication for depression and anxiety, and um, I'm still on it. <laughs> To this day, I started taking it when I was 14, and I'm still on to this day. But I'm slowly weaning myself off because I don't need to rely on anything. But anyway, um, as I, when I was younger, after I stopped cutting myself, I resorted to other things. I dabbled in drug use. I um, began smoking cigarettes and being a little promiscuous and stuff like that. Uh, I just kind of did anything to numb the pain that I was feeling and the self-hatred I really had. I mean, I really thought I was worthless. Um, all the guys I dated and everything just really made me feel worthless. They made me feel like nothing. But now I know that I'm not worthless. I know I am worth something. I am a great person. I'm not perfect. It honestly really hurts me when people tell me I'm perfect because I'm just like, no, you don't know the half of it. I have so many flaws. I've been through so much. There's nothing perfect about me, like, honestly. There was there was a time in my life I, I drew a picture of myself from my mom and pointed out every single thing I hated about myself. I couldn't think of one thing that I liked about myself. Not a single thing. And that is just so sad to me. Um, after I quit smoking, I did resort back to self-harm. Um, I started cutting myself again in a different place. It's not visible, but um, I only did that for like a short period of time before realizing I was like, wait, this is stupid. I was like, creating physical pain for myself is not going to get rid of the emotional pain. I don't need to cut myself to feel something. I can feel something in other ways. I don't need to bleed to know I'm alive. I know I'm okay. I know things are going to get better. I know that I don't need to do something to, to make myself not depressed. I don't need medication. I don't need to cut myself. I don't need cigarettes. I don't need drugs. I just need myself. I need to be confident. I need to be happy. I need to, you know, work on my building my business. I need to take care of my pets and, you know, be with my family. I don't need a boyfriend to be happy. I don't, I don't need anyone. I need myself. I just want you to know that if you're feeling depressed or lonely or struggling with self-harm or, I don't know, an eating disorder or anything that you're going through, you're not alone. Because even someone who comes off as perfect. No one's perfect. No one's, you know, we've all had our highs and lows. So if you ever need anybody to talk to, I don't care if I know you. I don't care if you've never spoken to me. I don't care anything. You can come to me. 
You can write in my ask box on Tumblr. You can email my email that I have listed on my YouTube page. Um, I'll keep it completely confidential, even if you just want to vent. You don't want me to reply, you don't want me to... nothing. I'll keep everything between us, but I will be your friend, and I want you to know that things are going to get better for you. You just have to allow it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're going through something rough, just keep your head up, because you are awesome and beautiful inside and out. I promise that you're a good person, so thank you for watching, and bye.